ask you something. Is following girls around like a lost puppy your way of getting their attention? You've been doing this for nearly half a system hour. To be more precise, it's been 45 minutes. Time sure flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? Ugh, spare me. Beautiful eyes, though. Are you from Sigonia? Need another hint? I'm an Avgen. My eyes might not be as pretty as yours, but there's no problem with my vision. You Sigonians are notorious throughout the entire universe. Liars, thieves, social manipulators, wolves in sheep's clothing. You're really living up to the reputation. I say, you belong to the space under the manhole cover. Not in a dream. There's one right over there. Off you go. I'll pass. The gloomy shade of a place like that just wouldn't go with my vibe. Dreamville is frivolous, vain, and flashy. And that suits me just fine. Also, it never rains here. My outfit is too expensive to be exposed to the elements. Cut it out and go home, you slick talker. We are fools, but we aren't stupid. We aren't interested in playing the friend game with the lapdogs of the IPC. <laughs> really? You've never been friends with anyone from the IPC? Do you think I know nothing about the history of Penacony? Don't drag me into your banal office politics! Fool, you've been left with no choice since the moment you accepted the invitation to be here. You better pick a side while you have the chance. Or else you'll end up losing everything. You sound very sure of yourself. Looks like you've already convinced that chicken wing boy from the family. How did you do it, little peacock? Did you strip yourself naked, apologize to him on your knees, and promise that the IPC would never harm Penacony? Friends, oh please. You guys only treat others as your bargaining chips. Oh, what's wrong with chips? In any gamble, the only players that will never be on the losing side are the chips. My friends from the Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express are all smart enough to understand that. But the smarter ones wouldn't have joined the game in the first place. See? I'm smarter. Listen, little peacock. You've been invited by the tavern before, too. If you want the masked fools to get on board, you need to figure out what it is the laughter wants. Here's a hint for you. Since you can't convince anyone, why don't you find a rock to be friends with? At least a rock won't be able to refute your arguments. <laughs> so long! Thanks. I'll keep your advice in mind. in the neck. I guess I'll have to meet with the family again. <sighs> Brother, I'm back. Welcome back. How is your preparation for the performance coming? It's fine. Don't worry. It's fine? <laughs> this is not good. You're the pride of the family. Don't let those unnecessary emotions affect your perfect pitch. I... no. Brother, you seem to be in low spirit. What's happened? Is it because of the Watchmaker's guest list? Yes, I 
received the report that death had taken some of them. Perhaps someone was behind it. I'm sorry, I forgot you just came back. You probably wouldn't know about it. Somehow, a nightmare called death has descended upon Panacone, striking indiscriminately, bringing spiritual death to all equally. In the utopian dreamscape envisioned by the family, such sorrowful incidents shouldn't arise. It profoundly undermines the equilibrium and serenity of the dreamscape. How detestable. I can't believe this has happened. Was... someone killed again? Yes. There were two. One was a stowaway, uh, the other... ...was you. That's enough, fool. Your deeds have saddened me. Pretty sharp, aren't you, chicken wing boy? Odes of Harmony talks about honesty. The words of a fool begins with foolishness and end in treacherous arrogance. Please leave. Their dreamscape doesn't welcome you. Oh, come on, lighten up. Why so serious with all the quotations and references? I'm just curious. Now things have come to this. Is the family still unwilling to fight? I mean, your darling sister's already a goner, right? Really? <laughs> Don't tell me you're not craving a little vengeance. It's not yet time. When the fated day arrives, I shall mete out justice with unyielding righteousness. Wow, you can endure that much? Truly a heart of ice you've got there. Hey, maybe we could actually get along. How about this? I'll stand in for your dear sister at events. <laughs> Surely you don't want the world to hear the Charmony Festival's been called off. The family has a plan. And do not dishonor my dear sister with your deceitful tongue again, fool. All right, all right. Just putting it out there. If you're ever in a pinch, remember, I've got your back. I mean, who could resist a guy rocking spikes on his wings? <laughs> There's no need. The Malefactor has been exposed under their radiant gaze, and will soon fall by their own machinations. Should the transgressor fail to turn away from this path, their sword will be honed, their bows strung, causing the malevolence the perpetrator spreads to befall them. And when that time comes, the heathen will realize they are but a mere mortal, doomed to descend into the netherworld. And I... I will join their vanguard to announce this good news to you personally, Watchmaker. Really? I wouldn't do anything to her. Don't worry about that, Memo Keeper. Let's talk about my thing. I've helped you out with everything you've asked, as agreed. Shouldn't you give my mask back to me now? Since when did the masked fools suddenly start respecting agreements? <laughs> Just kidding. I loved seeing that look on your face. Take this key to the tavern cellar, third barrel on the left. You never saw me. But Sampo, after all this time, what made you suddenly want to take back your mask? This doesn't seem like the Sampo I know. Let me guess. 
A catastrophe is coming to your LF6. Am I right? Well, no comment about that. But I love that line you said. If you're too late to take the stage, you can work behind the scenes. That really makes sense. Sometimes even an old-timer like me feels like taking the stage and making a fool out of myself. If you're all out of options, please get in touch with me. I'm the kind of person who values friendship highly. Forget it. You'll be doing me a favor if you stay away from Bellabog. After all, the elation that Miss Sparkle seeks isn't something old Sempo can stand by. Go tell Giovanni I said hi. Fine, I'm just spitballing here. Don't take it so seriously. Why so serious?